Hello, bonjour, good day. How are you, Gatriz? I hope you're fine. I look, you're very excited. How are you? I hope this finds you well. It's your teacher, Anunciata. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Hi, can you all stand up? All stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up, all of us. Hi, move away from your tables. Now, let's move. Let's go to the front, and then we come back backwards, okay? So when you go, we're moving as we walk. One, two, three, four, five. Again, four, three, two, one. We go forward, 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 forward. One, two, three, four, five. Backward, four, three, two, one. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Backward, four, three, two, one. Wow. If I may ask, in which direction did you move the fastest? Teacher, the forward was the fastest. Very good. Why? Why? Do you remember when you're talking about moving the movement, the forward movement and the backward movement in the physical lesson? We said, we, we are moving forward. We are able to see where we are going. But when you're moving backward, we are not able to see where we are going. And that's why we move very slowly and keenly so that we not, we should not fall. Today we want to count forward and backwards in ones. But now we are increasing our numbers. Remember in grade 1, we did numbers 1 up to 50. In grade 2, we did numbers 1 up to 100. Now in grade 3, we are doing numbers 100 to 1000. Teacher, how does 1000 look like? Very good. Now we are talking about numbers 1. Then we did up to 50. In grade 2, we did 51 up to, we still did 1 up to 100. Now, in grade 3, we are doing 1 up to 1,000. Do you know the zeros are increasing each day? For the 10, it was a 1, 0. Then here, they are increasing to 2. Then for the 1,000, they are now 3 zeros. Wow, that is how the numbers increase. Now, I have been given here a question. And remember, we did when you have been given here a question to fill in the missing number. Who can tell us the missing numbers? Now, for you to understand this, remember these are three numbers. And in most cases, if the numbers are the same, if this is the ones, remember plus value, tens, and this is the 100 plus value. Same to this one, this one, and this one. So if the numbers in the 100 plus value and the tens plus value are the same, if the numbers in the tens plus value and hundreds plus value are the same, so you only use the last number to identify the missing number. You only use the last number to identify the missing number. So for example here, which number is this? This number is, when I add 100 plus 1, I get 101. If I add 101 plus 1, I will get 102. If I add plus 1, I will get 103. What if I add 100, 103 plus 1? I will get 104. So the missing number we are saying the ones, the tens and hundreds plus value remain the same. So the missing number there is 4. What if I add 104 plus 1? I will get here 5, 0, 1. So the missing number here is 105. Very good. What if I've been given a number like this? What if I've been given a number like this? My number here goes like this. 816, 817, 
818 and 819. And I've been told, fill in the missing numbers. Fill in the missing numbers. First of all, look at your numbers. Which number is common in all the numbers? Is this common in all the numbers? Yes. Is this common? So we have 8888. Eight, eight. So you are using the last two numbers to fill in the missing numbers. We are using the last two numbers to fill in the missing number. So we are saying our common number there is 8. So when I remove 8 from 16, I remain with 16. Then this one I call it 17. Then this is 18. Then this is 19. So which one is the missing number there after 19? Look at our numbers. After 19, we go to 20. As easy as that. Then I'm asking myself, this one is the common number. I also indicated there. After 20, I'm now using 20 to find the missing number. In the next gap, it is 821. Wow, that is nice. What if I'm told now, count? Sometimes I'll not be told to count backwards. Let me use another number. I've been told here, I have 210, 209, 208, 207. And they want the missing numbers. So, the same same question when you're given it and you're told to count backward. The rule still remains. Maintain, look at the first number. Is it the same? If the first number is the same, you will write the first number. Now you remain with the last two numbers. The ones and the tens plus value to help you find the missing numbers. Alternatively, you can take away 10, take away 9, count backward, 10, 9. Then 9 take away 1, you get 8. 8 take away 1, you get 7. 7 take away 1, you get 6. And 6 take away 1, you get 5. Wow, so nice. What if I've been given a number like this? <coughs> I've been given a number like 5, 40, 5, 39, 38, 5, 36, 5, 37. Again, look at the numbers. You see, they came from 40 then to 39, 38. So we cannot use the two numbers because the number, the two numbers might change. So the main number here is 500. So when you're told now, fill in the missing numbers. Five is still constant in all the numbers. Five is still constant in all the numbers. Counting backward simply means reducing. And here we are reducing by one because we're counting back in ones. So five, so five is a constant number which is constant in all the numbers. Now we are going to the next two numbers. Now we are here at 40. 40, take away 1. You say 40, take away 1. It becomes 39. 39, take away 1. It's 38. 38, take away 1 is 36. 36, take away 1 is 37. And 37. 36, we have confused here. This one should be. And you didn't tell me. This one is 530. 7 and then 36 comes here. So 8, 38 take away 1, you get 37. 37 take away 1, you get 36. And 36 take away 1, you get 35. And what of 35 take away 1, you get 34. And you will have finished counting forward and counting backwards. Both in counting forward and backwards in ones. What if I've been given this Someone to calculate this one for me. I have 314, 315, 316, 317. Which one is the missing number? And another one to calculate this one. Um, 838, 839, 
835. Someone to calculate for me these ones? Yes. Judy, come. So 314, we are adding one, you get 315. First of all, what did we say? Identify the constant number. The constant number is the number that is the same in all the numbers. Then we are on 14, 15, 16, 17. So which is the missing number there? 18. Alternatively, you can add 1. Plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. And you get the answer as 318. Then here we have 838, 837. 836 and 835. Which one is our constant number there? Yes, Oscar. Teacher, the constant number is 8. The constant number is 8. So we are working with 38, 37, 36, 35. So we count backward from 38, you go to 37. 37, you go to 36. And from 36, 35, then the next missing number is 830. Four. So, when you go home today in the evening, I only have two questions for you. Two questions, not more than two, but only two questions for you. And these questions are still counting in ones, both forward and backward. So, our questions are dash. Four or seven, four or eight. Then this one is three thirty three three thirty two and dash. These are the only two questions that I want people to try and see. Did you understand what we said when we're calculating these questions? Up to there, any problem? Any question? I hope you are all on the same page. It was nice having you around and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Thank you.